children. Good morning. Welcome to another wonderful Sunday service. How are you? How was your week? Hope you enjoyed yourself at school. Hope you are ready to listen and hear and understand the Word of God. Great! Now children, we have been doing a series for the past couple of weeks. Can you tell me what we have been learning about? Who can tell me? Have we been learning about prayer? Or have we been learning about faithfulness? Or have we been learning about love? Who can tell me? No, we have been learning about worship. Yes, I know you remember. And today, we are going to continue our lesson on worship. Today, Auntie is going to be teaching us how we can worship God. I'm sure you want to learn how to worship God. I'm I really do. I want to learn how to worship God. And I am very sure you do too. So, I want you to pay very good attention to everything you learned today. Because, you know, as usual, I will see you at the end of the class and you'll tell me everything you've learned. Deal? Great! So now it's time for praise and worship. Enjoy yourselves, dance, worship God, and then listen to today's lesson. See you later. Bye! Children, are you ready to dance? Do we know that we have Jesus love bubbling over in our hearts? Beautiful! Now, Jesus love is bubbling over. Jesus love in my heart. Jesus love is bubbling over. Jesus love in my heart. Again, Jesus love is bubbling over. Jesus love in my heart. Jesus love is bubbling over. Jesus love in my heart. Bubbling over, bubbling over, bubbling over. Turn to mommy and say, Jesus love is bubbling over. Turn to daddy and say, Jesus love in my heart. Jesus love is bubbling over. Jesus love in my heart. Again, Jesus love is bubbling over. Jesus love in my heart. Jesus love is bubbling over. Jesus love in my heart. Bubbling over. Bubbling over. Bubbling over. Beautiful. Do we know that we have the love of Jesus deep down in our hearts? Beautiful. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the love. Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Beautiful. Do we know that we have God's love running over in our hearts also? Running over, running over. My heart is full and running over. Jesus Christ loves me. I am happy, happy, happy. My heart is full and running over. Running over, running over. My heart is full and running over. Jesus Christ loves me. I am happy, happy, happy. My heart 
heart is full and running over. Now let's take it slow. We're going to take this one slow now. Running over, running over. My heart is full and running over. Jesus Christ loves me. I am happy, happy, happy. My heart is full and running over. Beautiful children. Now children, let's wave our hands from left to right. Let's take the song together. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Keep waving. kids it's time for another homework review session thank you once again for sending in your homework as usual you guys did excellently so now let's go over some of them can i have a drum roll please What do we do when we want to pray? Eyes closed, hands together. Again, eyes closed, hands together. Now let's close our eyes our put and put our hands together. In Jesus name, in Jesus name, dear Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise and we worship you for all of the good things that you've done for us. We thank you for good health. We thank you for keeping our mommies and daddies and for healing us when any of us is sick. Lord, we say thank you. Now, dear Lord, as we are about to listen to today's lesson, we ask that you grant us wisdom and understanding you grant we the children and our teachers wisdom and understanding to understand all that we are going to be taught today in jesus name we have prayed in jesus name we have prayed and we say very loud amen and now let us Settle down quietly and listen to today's lesson. Let us sit down quietly, quietly, quietly and listen to today's lesson. Hello children! Hello! How many people are excited to hear God's word today? Well, I am excited. 
before we listen to the lesson and before I tell you my story, you're going to shout hallelujah to God in a very special way. I will do it once and then you do it the second time. Is that okay? All right, watch me. Pray, pray, praise the Lord. You jump up three times. Ha, ha, hallelujah. All right, one very big hallelujah to the Lord. Pray, pray, praise the Lord. Ha, ha, hallelujah. Okay, so we're going to continue talking about worship. Worship is a way of showing God that you love him god wants us to worship him when we worship god it makes god happy it makes god happy you know and when god is happy it blesses us all right i'm going to be talking to you today about worshiping god in songs what did i say worshiping god in songs but before I talk about worshiping God in songs I will tell you also three ways you can worship God so the first way to worship God is by singing singing you open your mouth and you raise your voice to God in praise. When you sing praises to God, you're worshiping God. That is one way to do it. Remember that even when you're praying, you can sing praises to God. Other ways are by serving God. That is helping out in church. That is one way. Another way is by giving. Giving back to God what he has given to you. You can give God Anything he has given to you. You remember the story of Hannah? Hannah gave his her son back to God. You can give God your money. Jesus' money. How many people take Jesus' money to church? Beautiful. That is a way of worshipping God. So back to what we are talking about today. Worshipping God by singing. When you're singing to God, you can lift up your hands to God, wave your hands to God, and worship. You wave your hands to God, you sing any song that makes God happy, like praising the Lord always, praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord with all my heart. Praising the Lord with all my heart always. Always remember that when you're worshiping, you do it with all of your heart. All of your heart. There is only one way, one way, one way to worship God wrongly. When we worship God in that way, God is not happy with us. And that is when you don't do it with all of your heart. When you don't mean it from your heart. When you're not singing with all that is inside of you. So for example, sometimes they tell you in church, let us worship God or even at home or before you sleep, you want to praise God. You should not praise God as if they are forcing you to praise God. I'm praising the Lord. No, no, you can even use your musical instrument to praise God. You use your musical instrument when it's time to worship Him. You are saying, We are singing unto the Lord. Join me, Hallelujah. We are singing unto the Lord. Singing, Hallelujah. We are singing unto the Lord. We are dancing on to the Lord. Dancing on Can you see how I'm doing it? I'm excited. I'm doing it with all of my heart so that God can be happy with me. I'm doing it with all of my might so that God can be pleased with me. Okay? 
So the next time I think here, yes, I would like you to join me and do it with all of your heart. I would give two, three people, three people my 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 maraca, so that you can use it to praise God also. Okay, let me see you dancing again. Do it. You wiggle your body. You shout. You laugh. You raise up your voice to God and dance. One, two, three, go. Praise the Lord. Always. Praise the Lord. Yes, always. Beautiful. Who is the last person? With all my heart. Praise him. Beautiful. Yes, over to you. Beautiful. Well done. So when praising God, you praise God with all of your heart. Don't forget, you pay attention. The time to sing to God, to worship God, is not time to play. No. It's not time to talk to your friends. No. It's not time to complain to daddy and mommy about anything. You, you concentrate and then you just praise God from your heart. You can also praise God by clapping when you are praising God. If you don't have musical instruments, you can use your hand. You clap for Jesus when you are praising God. You can clap for Jesus while you are singing and God will be pleased with you. Can I see you clapping for Jesus? Can I see you clapping for Jesus? Oh yes! Praise the Lord, oh single, single. Praise the, praise the Lord. Praise His holy name. Oh. Remember, with all of your heart, you clap and you dance happily to God. Praise the Lord. You are super, super, super special children. I'm going to tell you a story quickly of some people that worshipped God with all of their hearts. No matter how they felt, they were not happy, but they still worshipped God. My story is the story of Paul and Silas. Can I hear you say the story of very good paul and silas all right so paul and silas were friends of god they loved god so much they worshiped god with all of their lives they went everywhere talking to people about jesus they went everywhere helping people they went everywhere healing the sick hmm but one day, one day, is there anyone beside you? Is mommy, daddy, auntie, your brother or sister beside you? Tell them, say one day, one day. Paul and Silas, they healed a very sick woman, a very sick woman. And guess what? Some very wicked leaders were not happy about that. They were not happy that Paul and Silas were friends of God. So they caught them. They caught them. And then they tied their hands together and also bound their feet. And even while they did that, they also beat them. Before they did that, they beat them so badly, they had wounds all over their body. Paul and Silas were were in pain their body was paining them they had headache their stomach was paining them but these people kept beating them they now tied their hands they tied up their hands and legs in chains and shackles hmm so they could not move they pushed them into a very dark room called a prison they put them in prison while they were there, they could not move their hands, they could not move their legs. But Paul and Silas remembered that God could still help them and they still worshipped God. They lifted up their voice, they prayed, they praised God, they sang to Jesus and God heard them. That's why people used to sing that song that says, Paul and Silas, they prayed. They sang, the Holy Ghost came down, Paul and Silas, they praised. They sang, the Holy Ghost came down, Paul and Silas.
Silas, they praised and they sang, they prayed, they sang, and the power of God came down mightily. The room started to shake. The wall started to shake. The ground started to shake. They could hear the sound brrr, everywhere was shaking. The door suddenly opened. And next thing, the answer were tied. The, 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 the chains fell out and then the shackles on their legs also broke into pieces and Paul and Silas were free. Wow! Everybody around the prison, the, the doorkeeper, the gatekeeper, they were all afraid. They were wondering why this sudden noise and what just happened. They were scared. Even the man that was keeping the door the gatekeeper the doorkeeper was scared he wanted to kill himself because he was afraid he didn't know what he was going to say to the leaders but paul and silas told him we are sorry we didn't do this it wasn't us we were only singing to our god and then our god sent his power down to save us the gatekeeper said i want to know this god i want to save this god this god must be powerful this god must be a big god and they prayed for him and he also became a friend of God. So, can you see, when you praise God with all of your heart, when you do it with all of your might, this is what happens. God sends his power down to help you. God say, God blesses you in return. Alright, can I have some people tell me what they learned from the lesson today? First person beautiful oh god that is so good paul and silas praised god with all of their hearts so when you praise god with all of your heart his power comes down paul and silas praised god with all of their hearts and the power of god came down to help them also paul and silas were not ashamed of god even when they were in trouble they still praised god they lifted up their voices they sang with a very loud voice they were not ashamed that people were listening to them because they knew that they needed to do it with all of their hearts for god to be happy with them beautiful let us pray father we thank you for your words we thank you because we are doers of your word and not errors only help us to worship you always with all of our hearts say i will worship you yes i will worship you with all of my heart and all the time when I am singing to you I will pay attention I will sing to you with all of my heart I will be happy when I'm singing to you I will be excited when I'm singing to you and I will pay attention pray pray praise the Lord hallelujah yes it is time for our memory verse are you ready let me hear you shout hallelujah one more time pray pray praise the lord wonderful yes i can see that we are ready for our memory verse today our memory verse is from john for verse 24 again john 4 verse 24 and it says god is spirit and we must worship him in spirit and in truth again god is spirit and we must worship him in spirit and in truth yes 
Wonderful. Let's take it again. John 4 verse 24. One more time. John 4 verse 24. And it says, God is spirit. And we must worship him in spirit and in truth. Again, God is spirit. And we must worship him in spirit and in truth. Beautiful. Now let's take it together at a stretch. John 4 verse 24. One more time. John 4 verse 24. And it says, God is spirit. And we must worship him in spirit and in truth. The last time, God is spirit. And we must worship him in spirit and in truth. Beautiful. Let's roll it for ourselves. Roll and clap. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, children. Wow. The lesson was awesome. Awesome as always, right? Beautiful. Okay. So, yes, we have gotten to one of the most expected time. And that is activity time. Yes. Now, don't forget, children, what we have just learned. The story and the lessons. Remember, we are still on worship. And this Sunday, we just learned on worshiping God in songs. That is, singing songs to worship God. Beautiful, right? And we learned from the story of Paul and Silas. Awesome. So now to our activities. Now for one to two year olds, we are coloring. Yes, we are coloring as always. Now look at the boy. Oh my God, the child is so happy. He's so grateful for all God has been doing for him. And in fact, for what God is doing and what he's going to do. So remember, it's the same for us. So we should be like this boy, we should be like this child, worshiping God in songs. Awesome. Worshiping God in songs. So you know what I want you to do? When you're coloring, don't forget to sing a song. So you can start coloring and sing. Running over, running over. My cup is full and running over. You sure do know the song, right? Awesome. Don't forget to color so beautifully. Well done. Now to our three to four year olds. Hmm... It's also coloring. Yes. But remember, our story, the story we just learned is on Paul and Silas. And we know what happened, right? Paul and Silas were locked up in the, in the prison. And despite all that was happening to them, they worshipped God. They sang to God. They gave God all the glory. In fact, they just surrendered all to God by singing and we do know what happened right yes they were released god helped them be walked wonders and they came out of the prison in fact even the guards were surprised right good so now look at the picture look at paul and silas even with the shackles on they are still singing to God. In fact, they are so happy. Look at their teeth. They, they are so, so happy that they are singing. I can't imagine the song they were singing. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Woo! So now, look at the picture. Color the picture beautifully. Now, there's something special you should do, you know. Now, after coloring the picture, the, the wood, um, Paul and Silas, don't forget the teeth should be white, you know. Okay. Now, there is, you, you can see some things in the background and they are musical notes. Now, we do know that musical notes should be in black. Yes, they are most beautiful in black. So, yes, 
sometimes you can be creative and make them different colors so if you want to be so creative and you want to make your musical notes different colors you are free and you want it and if you want it to be in black oh awesome but make it beautiful make it creative and in fact you can even add more musical notes bet you're going to do an awesome work we trust you now finally to our five year old hmm question time awesome so now remember what we've just learned we just learned worshiping god in songs and we learned about the story of paul and silas how they worshiped god in songs so now answer the following questions according to what you have just learned from the story remember we've learned a lot from the story right so now question one mention three ways we can worship god so what this simply means is that we have learned how to worship god right so now just mention three ways we can worship god that you've learned from the lesson from the story so we have a b c so you list them now number two how did paul and silas worship god hmm what an easy question right bet you know the answer now number three what happened when paul and silas sang to god whoa such easy peasy questions and we are sure you're going to do wonders to these questions we are so so eager so eager to see that wonder you're going to do to the questions and the color is oh my god we are so eager to see the beautiful beautiful colorful works as always the link to download the pdf and jpeg worksheets is displayed on your screen and also in the description below the link to download the pdf and jpeg worksheets is displayed on your screen and also in the description below homework done should be submitted to convenant nation kids at gmail.com homework done should be submitted to convenant nation kids at gmail.com please for clarification we are going to spell this out c o v e n a n t n a t i o n k i d s at gmail.com so there is no n after co of convenant nation kids all right please don't forget to include your full name and age while submitting please this is also very important please don't forget to include your full name and age while submitting thank you so very much see you next sunday bye Wow, that was such an amazing lesson. I'm sure you now know how you can worship God. I learned it and I know you learned it too. Great children. So we've come to the end of another wonderful service. But before we go, let us say the grace in fellowship. And what do we do when we want to say the grace? Put your right hand on your chest. Once again, put your right hand on your chest. Say after me, the grace of my Lord, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. We say, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forevermore. Finally, let's confess. The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places and yes, I have a goodly heritage of the Lord. Wonderful, wonderful. It's been great having you kids today. 
till we meet again have a wonderful week ahead and don't forget to worship god very well this week see you next time bye